Merry Christmas will never be the same. <laughs> twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, and his little elf crew. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, and his reindeer too. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa. You know what to do. Twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa, twerk the Santa. Just twerk it, Santa. Uh. Twerking is the Santa gotta twerk it myself. So I've been sitting here for like the past, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes figuring out where my contact paper went. I bought contact paper for my kitchen's cabinets and um, I wanted to try it out today. Looking for it, thinking that it would be near my kitchen somewhere. My kitchen is constantly having things run in and out of the space. If I get a product or something, piece of furniture, all of the boxes will lay right next to my kitchen. Oh, okay. And they'll just kind of stay there until I'm ready to take it all out to recycling. Today, when I'm looking for my contact paper, I'm like, oh. Oh. I probably put my kitchen contact paper like right here or somewhere. I may have thrown it away. Trash. An accident. That can't be. No, no, no. This can't be. No. I just bought this contact paper, but I've also been tossing a lot of stuff in the trash that's been kind of sitting here. Dang, I'm about to take the L, right? And I have a tendency to kind of think of one possibility. Oh, I threw it away. And then I just kind of stick with that. But in the back of my mind, I try to open up those possibilities and go, maybe I didn't throw it away. Maybe I brought it down to my car for some weird reason. But then as I'm looking around, I'm like, nah, it's not looking too good for me. Bro, why is it under my sofa? Uh? Why is it under my couch? Why? Way back there. <laughs> Must be parked downtown Atlanta. How did it get back there? Nobody put that there intentionally. I think. Why is it way? I, oh my just god! Give it, just like, give it to me. Like, why would it be back there? Did I sleepwalk? Cause I had a kind of a sense of memory when I walked by my sofa. I think it really could be ADHD. Like, I just finished up live streaming. Yeah, that's the aftermath. I'm always so either exhausted or really charged after a live stream. Today, I feel really charged. So it is a lot of fun to like hang out and talk with y'all, but oftentimes I still have a show to run. I'm like running a show, right? And so I have to move the show along. And these past four live streams have been like way more produced than usual. And I also had to like improv through all the live streams. It's like hours of improv. -ing. And on top of that, I was inserting full on skits in between. <laughs> <laughs> that I like would film the day of. Like I filmed like this morning, I was filming the episode four, which was like a news segment uh, that revealed what all of these past live streams were really about. I liked it. It was really fun. I, I, I wanted to like really dip my hands in screenwriting very casually. I didn't want to like take myself too seriously. I just kind of wanted to whip up a few storylines and like throw it in and see if I could bring it to a head and try to make, make it all kind of pull together. And I think I did that. <laughs> I think it kind of all made sense. I was like, oh, Ow! this is how people think about stories and characters on how they interact with each other and how they kind of slowly reveal the plot to people. This, this this is interesting. I feel like I just like experienced something that I had wondered about for so long. I made today on today's live snickerdoodles, right? And these are eggnog snickerdoodles. So good. I'm actually so shook. I've made snickerdoodles so many times before because snickerdoodles are my favorite type of cookie. All you gotta do is add some stuff that you would add to like eggnog to spice it. Nutmeg, cloves, cinnamon, a little bit of ginger maybe. I don't think I put ginger in it. Salt, and then just make the base of a snickerdoodle. And then you got an eggnog snickerdoodle. And these are so good. They're spiced like holiday. And I just have my like, uh, oat milk here. It's gonna be bustin' bustin'. Mm hmm mm, so good. And then I just have them like rolled around in a cinnamon sugar mix. It's so chewy, it doesn't taste like flour. It's like, so good. it's so well made. Mm, mm, mm. That is delicious. For the rest of the night, I'm going to set up my Sono speaker, a mini subwoofer from Sonos. I'm gonna hook that up tonight and then watch maybe an episode of White Lotus or I'm gonna watch Don't Worry Darling, which I think is on HBO now. Yeah, it is that, bye. Girl, how you open, open up, sis. Ooh. Yes, Meow is here. This is the plug, I'm assuming. <laughs> Maybe I'm assuming right. Oh, she's so tiny. This subwoofer is so cute. Like, look at the, look at it. It just looks so much more sleek than most subwoofers. Now I can just stick it over here by my other situation and get some bass in this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, okay. okay. I'm taking down my twist real quick because girl, it is time. It's been time. This hair, I did like a blowout and then I put like my favorite gels in it. And honestly, I took out one of the twists like the next day to redo it for the flat twist tutorial. And when I took it out, it was like the most bomb twist. I was like, oh, I'm gonna take all the twists out after this flat twist tutorial. And I'm gonna just like wear my hair in a twist out state. And then the way that I gave that up immediately. Oh my God, because it broke all my twist. 
until now is wash day and nothing hurts more than when it's like wash day and you taking your twist out and the twist can kind of look good but now you're scalp screaming and hollering and kicking and throwing up i am in for the night it's like 10 30 on a sunday it's a sunday i finally have the time and the energy and the space to decorate my living room but i also now have to decorate for christmas and those always clash you know what i mean it's hard to decorate your house for christmas and then on top of that try to see the vision i might have to do what i did for my bedroom and just give myself a week to design rather my living room and then that week after i can like start putting christmas stuff up i'm not playing with covid or the flu who and who or the flu. Jeez. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even when I see people cough and stuff on, like through a TikTok or on TV, girl, I'll cover my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, and my nose. Back up. Back up a little bit. Technology too good these days. I don't want, I don't want nothing you got. How cute is this though? I got a little chef's hat. I actually got this as part of a costume for my live stream skit for Big Body Bertram because he's like supposed to be this like behind the scenes like really crafty chef. Also, it's nice to wear just like when I'm baking because I feel so culinary art school or something. I know I'm like jumping around from subject to subject, but shout out to Corey Kenshin. 15 million subscribers, we love to see it. As a black gamer, 15 million subscribers, we love to see it. He's so good at what he does. I'm actually watching one of his videos right now. Punching 16 numbers. If he's gonna pause. Whew. Girl, that first access to that scalp. Mm. Yeah, I want to stay in this forever. I'm so ready to wash my hair. Why she gotta be so loud? Like early in the morning, that loud thing. It's great that it just does it by itself. It just is a smoothie machine maker, but. <laughs> Do she gotta be 35 decibels above no, ground noise? Anyway, I today made the decision that I, by the end of this week, want to have my kitchen completed and finished and made over. Wishful thinking. Yeah. You're a dreamer. You dream a lot. This is the color of the wallpaper that I got. I'm actually thinking that maybe I might want to go lighter because I saw this picture of a hotel. <laughs> actually, I stayed in a hotel that was kind of this this color. And I liked it. I think that's why I chose this one, but it's like an Airbnb. The kitchen is like a lighter, more kind of spunky, fun green. The backsplash is like a brick red. And the cabinets are this beautiful like slat wood. And so I'm thinking, girl, I think this will work because you know what? What really would look nice are these new pots of pans against this, I think would look really nice. I think I'm gonna get a new set of knives. So I'm gonna head to Bed Bath & Beyond or TJ Maxx or something like that. And I wanna clear up this space. It's just a little cluttered. There's a lot of stuff here that I don't use. Make it more functional, cute, and simple. It's just simple. Girl, I feel like I just made like some, a lot of progress, like with my communication with people. I came to my doctor's office to pay off a, a balance because I go to see them like regularly for checkups and whatnot. I don't get an invoice or a bill or a statement sent to my email or even to my phone. And they said it's because of privacy reasons. And like, I just asked them, but last time I was here, they told me that I owed like some large amount of money. And I was like, what girl, huh? And they told me this right as I was having to go, I was like rushing out. And I was like, can I just pay this like through the portal or whatever? Cause you know, everybody gotta put you on a portal. Child, you go to the you go to the grocery store, gotta order your food through the portal. So I looked at the portal when I did have time and I didn't see any kind of way to pay, nor did I see the balance that I carried. I'm gonna need that chicken. Drove back up here and um just told them, hey, how how do I pay this? And I asked for a receipt as well, because I didn't know what I was even being charged for. I want an itemized list. Like, what do y'all be charging me for? Just be throwing anything in there. I want to be able to dispute things because uh, girls be making mistakes. The girls, you know what I mean? Just be typing up stuff, get, snatching extra money from your pocket for no reason. And I've had that happen to me on too many occasions for me to not need a receipt for stuff now. As I was talking to them though, usually I would be like really defensive. Like I recognize this situation because it's high stress, it's like, I owe a lot of money, but I don't know what for. And so I'm already kind of going in there with my dukes up, like, ready to fight, like, pow. Girl, why do I owe this much money? And who, why didn't y'all tell me about this? And it's all y'all's fault. Clear my account. You know what I mean? <laughs> Clear the charges. But this time, literally, as I walked up to the desk, I was like, okay, let's breathe. Let's just ask questions and express curiosity about the situation rather than being defensive. 
Let's not talk over the person. Let's do that. Because <laughs> I very rarely get that way. It's only in situations that are like this, where it's like, I feel like somebody is manipulating me or trying to get me to do something against my um, better judgment. And, and so I just like put all guards up. But everything went well. And I asked them like what tea is, like why this wasn't working, why why they didn't give me a, a statement. And yeah, I mean, I ended up having to pay. Here's how much money you have. Girl, I gotta clean up. If you hear me, let me know. I have a lot of energy. I have a lot of energy today. I need to get things done. But my place is a mess. How are we gonna fix this? Clean it. I don't know who live here, it ain't me. I am not her because I don't leave no dishes on this counter. I don't leave no dishes in the sink, but why is dishes here? Why is dishes on the counter? I don't leave this looking a hot mess, but apparently it's a hot mess. Ew. Clean it. So I'm gonna clean up real quick. Let's do before and a before shot. Um. Before. <laughs> I don't know why um, the cabinets is open. Hey girl. Laundry need to be folded. Laundry need to be washed. I gotta do something with this thing over here. This cart gotta go back. I got stuff that needs to go to Goodwill. Plant is dry, ho. I gotta water the plants, especially this one. She getting real long. I, every time I lift her up on another rung, she get longer and longer. She's still hitting the ground. Girl, get up. Her too, she ain't slick. I thought she was dying, but she came back to life. I got 30 minutes to get this up and together. This is disgusting, this is ridiculous. There's an epidemic going on in the black community where we don't use a dishwasher. We finally get a dishwasher and we don't use it. <laughs> it's because it don't be washing the dishes right. I think is that a lot of us didn't have dishwashers when we were younger, and so one, we don't trust them to clean the dishes as we want, and our parents would like double check after us after we like clean something, and they saw so much of a speck is going there and wash that dish again. And so we kind of treat our dishwashers the same way when we realize that like the dishwasher ain't cleaning it right because there's a little bit of a speck on it still. What's that speck on my, uh, my saucer? I also think that because we didn't have dishwashers when we were growing up, we didn't know how to properly load a dishwasher and we didn't properly uh, put the right stuff in there for it, uh, the dishes to be clean. So now, so now we honestly just don't know how to use a dishwasher. I, like many people in America, just wash my dishes and then I use the dishwasher as a drying rack. But anyway, we got 30 minutes to clean up this kitchen. It really helps me to move through my days like that. Like, just be like, okay, 30 minutes, clean up this kitchen. Kind of lights some fire under my booty so I can go ahead and get things done. Oh, okay. now we gotta go? Because if I just go generally, oh, I'm gonna clean the kitchen today. Girls gonna take me three hours to clean that kitchen. But now, yeah, look at the stopwatch. We got 20 minutes left on the clock. Silent night. I only have one wish for the shooting star. Holy night, send me someone to love so I can hold their hand while we're at skating around the trees. Central Park, kiss them under the mistletoe. Oh, I want a Christmas kind of spot. Santa Claus, do you know Cupid? Send his arrow straight to my heart. I want fall. In all this Christmas, Santa that would be the Okay, okay, okay. So I did wipe down my refrigerator and my food is done. See, this is the aftermath. But my my phone ran out of space. So I had to delete a whole bunch of stuff. Now I feel like I need to wipe down my entire refrigerator, the inside too, child. I'll be back tomorrow. Right now, it's time to eat. Still eating that Gordon Ramsay meal prep. It honestly got better over time. Like, the first time I tasted that, I was like, ew, no. Not really, not, not really that. No, not too much. I don't know if I would like this all the way. But now, I love it. Bon appetit. Hey girl, that is gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. I feel like this one, I'm feeling the heat now. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh girl, I had to edit this real, real quick, child. But yeah, y'all. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely give it a big old thumbs up, girl, please. Please! The tiniest thing. And it helps me out so much. So definitely give this video a big old thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me everywhere, just not in real life. And I will um, see you tomorrow. Bye. Actually, you know what? I think tomorrow might be like a, a video video. You know what I mean? It's going to be a video video. It's still Vlogmas, but it's a video video. What? It's not necessarily Vlogmas, actually. What are you trying to say without saying? You'll see. <laughs> Bye.